Hey guys, so I've got my rig set up here. I just kind of threw it together. I taped the camera onto this uh, microscope here. And uh, what I'd like to show you is how to fix a Wi-Fi flux cable if for some reason, you know, it's you're getting weird Wi-Fi issues and you've gone through all the normal channels. I haven't seen a video like this online anywhere describing, you know, hey, this cable's probably your problem. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you with a needle here what can go wrong when you're trying to identify if it's your cable or if it's your Wi-Fi card or if it's maybe something messed up in the OS. So as you can see these little bitty solder pins right here go down and are soldered to the um, contacts on the flex. Well I noticed what happened on one whenever I was uh, I took the motherboard out and I applied new thermal paste and after that the Wi-Fi didn't show up at all. Before that, it had um, intermittent Wi-Fi issues where if I moved the motherboard or if I moved uh, the computer while it was on, I might lose Wi-Fi, might not. So I started to do troubleshooting. What I noticed is sometimes these little pins, and when you pull up this little tab right here to take the cable off, sometimes these will break loose and you'll have to re-solder them. Well, what I wanted to do is show you how to check for it and see if that's possibly what your problem is. You can take a needle, like so, in, in the uh, main video here, and you can then move the legs around and see if they are um, soldered or if they are loose. If they're loose, that means you're going to have to take a soldering iron and reheat that and solder it back down. It would be a cold joint, or it wouldn't work right, or it might make contact every once in a while. So with that said, I'm going to take my soldering iron with a very small tip nice clean tip as well and I'm gonna show you or attempt to the re-wetting of that contact and what that does is it just re-solders and uses what's there and wets it again and makes it a better contact than it had before so this isn't a very good example because this is a, a perfectly fine cable but I just wanted to show the concept of what goes on and how to do it it's funny because I was just about to go on Amazon or eBay and try and get another cable and I thought wait a minute I've got a MacBook Pro cable which is a little bit shorter the, uh, the MacBook 17 inch uh, cables a little bit shorter than the uh, 13 inch so I took that cable hooked up an extra Wi-Fi card I had and I got Wi-Fi it worked so I took the cable that was on that original MacBook looked at it under this microscope and I noticed hey these pins are moving all these legs aren't aren't still and once I resoldered those contacts everything started to work just fine so I hope this helps um, you and your troubleshooting it was really not anywhere online. Someone had just mentioned on a forum said, hey, we noticed that uh, a lot of times it's a common problem for these cables to be the culprit. Even though when you look at it, even uh, it, it, look at it without a microscope, you can't even tell that they're um, not soldered anymore. They're just too small. You really have to have kind of a high magnification to see this. Now I would recommend using flux and uh, make sure that you get a good joint going before you do that. Now, Sometimes you'll have bridging where actually two of these contacts will bridge together and they'll make one. You want to try and inspect and make sure that after you've done your work that you don't have a bridge between two contacts because you don't know yeah, it might fry the card, it might put you know current through something that you didn't want on there. So you kind of have, a little, have to have a little technical skill to do this and it's just something I've picked up and learned along the way. So I hope that helps guys, and I'll try and make a better video a little bit later with a, uh, I'll have flux, and I'll show you how to actually get those um, properly soldered down. So if, if you're interested in this, please leave a comment below and let me know if you really want to see this. Or if you are here, you probably know how to do this anyway, and you just haven't really thought about doing it on the cable rather than soldering on the motherboard. 
Anyway, have a good day.